Hi everybody, we're back here with Heidi West, and you're here to talk about um, a land trust that's happening. So where's this land trust? Yeah, so we, um, I work for the North Missoula Community Development Corporation, and we have a community land trust um, that currently has 47 units in it, and we're expanding. So we have seven more units that are coming online, um, and we're looking for applicants. Cool. Um, so these, uh, this development is called Lee Gordon Place, um, it's on Front Street, so um, right across from the new library. There's a lot of activity happening on Front Street these days. Um, and there are seven homes. Um, there's one two-bedroom accessible unit, uh, four two-bedroom, two-bath units, um, and then two four-bedroom units. Uh, and what makes these unique is that uh, they're set aside for folks that make 80% area median income or below. Which um, is... Um, so for a family, I wrote down my numbers. So for a family of one, a household of one, that would be um, 39450 And then for a household of four, so it adjusts as you add yeah, people, that number moves up. Um, so four people, that would be 56300 um, So that's... That's what a lot of people make in Missoula. Those are really um, reasonable, or maybe not reasonable wages, but wages that people are you know, earning. So maybe if you're a teacher or working in the healthcare industry or the service industry, this, this, this could be you. Um, and so we're accepting applications to be accepted into our community land trust program. Um, those, that deadline is February 1st. And then we'll have a raffle of eligible home buyers, um, and they'll get first choice. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to equalize the playing field because sometimes, you know, we didn't want there to be any like personal, um, you know, maybe we would know an applicant. We didn't want to give anyone an unfair advantage. Right. And and well, like, how can people apply? Like, what is the? So the easiest thing would be to go to our website, which is just nmcdc.org, um, and there's a link to applications. Um, also, some handbooks, some information about the community land trust model. Um, what the restrictions are, what it means for people, how it's different from renting or also owning in a market rate house, so it's a little bit different. Um, what's really important is that, um, so our average house price right now is about 300000 and that's really, oh, yeah. <laughs> really yeah. unattainable to as most a, folks. Uh, as a new homeowner myself. <laughs> Um, nice. um, it's, Congratulations. It, yeah, thank you. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it is very interesting to really think about, um, you know, where you're going to live. Yeah. I mean, because it's always like when you're when you're, at a, when you're basically the safety net that you've always depended on yeah. fails you. It's like, you you know, like it's like I just made enough money to pay the rent. But it's like you also need first and last month right. to help get you into yeah. it. But let's talk about some of the uh, programs that um, what other programs are working with you to help make so this a possibility. There is. So in order. So the price that we're bringing them to the market at is ranges from 135 to 175,000 for the four bedrooms and that's there's a big difference between market rate right now and what these homes cost and so we've done this with a lot of help from a lot of people um, so the city uh, of Missoula we have a CDBG and a home grant um, the Missoula Redevelopment Agency also put some funding into this project um, the uh, Brownfields grant to deal with original like the site the original site and some environmental cleanup that had to happen. Um, and then also the Department of Commerce, we have a um, home grant from them. So it's taken a lot of people um, to get us to this place, to being able to bring these to the market. Um, and what's really unique about the community land trust model is that th these homes are subsidized at the beginning and one time. So each unit has about $140,000 of subsidy, which is a lot of subsidy. But um, over these are permanently affordable. Right. And I'm assuming is this uh, are these houses to buy? They are to buy. Oh and wow! So somebody um, buys them, um, and then they own the home, and then they rent the land from us right. at a really low cost. So it's similar to having maybe a lease on Forest Service land. Most Montanans know that situation. Um, and then when we go, when the homeowner goes to resell, there's a resell formula um, that sets the price that they can sell it at, mm. and that keeps it affordable for the next family. And so, for example, right now, our community land trust has been going since 2002. We have 43 homes that are in the program, and 
um, they've served over 99 families. Wow. And so it gives people an opportunity to either buy their forever home or transition from renting right. to home ownership, and then maybe they get a better job and they can have a stable cost of living and so they can save money and then eventually buy a Margaret right. house. So um, we see all sorts of scenarios. Um, but a lot of our people do go on to own market rate houses in the Missoula area, or they get a job, you know, somewhere else and they move right. out of state. But um, it really um, makes your cost of housing predictable yeah. um, over the long term, and that's a, you know, when housing prices and rents are going up cool. and up and up, it's if you, awesome. So um, here's a question I kind of want to like. This is very broad, but this is a very like a question to really think about for those of you at home. Um, but um, God, I'm starting to lose it because I'm, I'm, I'm by, biding time to try to rethink <laughs> about the question I just forgot about. Um, but what do you think the importance of this program is? You know, um, the importance is uh, basically if, if you look at the Missoula housing market, we don't have homes that are kind of on the lower end. And so we really feel, <laughs> sorry. No, it's no, like, uh, So we really, uh, we fill a, a missing gap. Um, that, that exists in our housing market in Missoula. Right. And it gives people the opportunity uh, to, you know, purchase a home that they probably wouldn't be able to purchase on the, the open market, and it allows them to gain equity. They do gain um, their own equity, even though it's capped. It's not, right. you know, you're not going to get 8% per year, you know, as the housing market is inflating. Um, and then um, it... It keeps that cost. Your cost of housing is predictable um, because your mortgage payment isn't going to vary as much. Yeah. As because a lot of times, time, uh, so. once you lock into a mortgage, it never changes. Yeah. It's just very constant. Yeah, it's constant, and then you know your property taxes might shift a little bit from year to year, um, but it's a lot more predictable yeah. than being a renter, um, especially in this you know market where they, we have a really low rate of vacancies. Yeah. So um, I, I definitely like to think of this as like it's a step up. But it's also a smart step up to yeah. really think about um, where you're going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. And like, if you're not too confident um, financially, you can apply and see if you get it. Yeah, and um, we do ask folks to, you know, go take a home ownership class with Homeward and talk yes. to a financial housing counselor. And so people make really informed decisions, um, and hopefully. You know, that oh, yeah, will I mean, help like, them out in the long term. Homeward so. can help me. <laughs> yeah, it can help you. <laughs> yeah, so. like Homeward's great. Like, honestly, I can yeah. say enough about um, uh, Brendan and all those guys over at Homeward. Yeah, they're awesome. So, we work closely with them and making sure we have educated home buyers. And um, yeah, hopefully, we'll get some applicants. Awesome. And so, once again, before we go, where can people apply? Yep. So, um, the easiest thing is to go to our website at nmcdc.org. There's links to an application, a home buyer um, information booklet. Um, you're always welcome to call our office. Um, and yeah, I look forward to hearing from people. So, awesome. thank you for having me. Yeah.